This is case 17, and the dermis here is completely replaced by pink. The pink is homogeneous, amorphous material with crack-like artifact between it, so it's amyloid. Uh, this could either be nodular uh, amyloidosis, which is, again, light chain amyloid localized only to the skin without systemic involvement, or it could be a cutaneous deposit from systemic amyloidosis. We must have clinical workup and usually a bone marrow biopsy to distinguish between those. Here, it's filling the dermis. Notice how the papillary dermis is not involved here, and the rest of the dermis is filled up, okay? That's how we know this is probably light chain amyloid and not keratin amyloid. So this needs more workup. Sometimes it densely aggregates around eccrine ducts, eccrine coils, hair follicles, okay? But it usually fills the rest of the dermis also. And when you see vessels, it often deposits right around vessel walls, particularly if you get a larger, thicker uh, muscular vessel. It will often have dense deposits in the vessel walls. Here we can see some depositing around a small vessel wall right down here. All right, so this was light chain amyloid and either nodular, it's labeled as nodular amyloidosis in this case, but it certainly would have to be worked up to rule out systemic involvement. All right, and oh, the one thing I would say is that sometimes sclerotic collagen can be hard. It's one of those other homogenized pink things that can be hard to tell apart from amyloid. I'll have to make another video to explain, but one thing that helps me is on a regular microscope, if you go closer and you get right up here and you flip the condenser, in collagen, you'll see little thin collagen fibers that are wavy and refractile, and in amyloid, there are fibers, but they are really, really tiny and can only be seen by electron microscopy because they're so small much, much smaller than collagen fibers. Uh, collagen fibers can be seen by flipping the condenser, usually on a light microscope. And amyloid, even when you flip the condenser, it still looks homogenous, okay? Uh, it also is a little bit different color. You can see here's a collagen bundle that's left over. It's a little bit of a more uh, a deeper pink red and uh, amyloid's a little more of a light color. And again, you can use stains like thioflavin T and conca red to help. And uh, also fibrin can look a little like this. Fibrin though is even more red color um, and you can do some stains to help tell that apart. Um, trichrome is helpful. Trichrome will stain amyloid kind of a grayish blue. It will stain collagen a deeper blue, although those are pretty similar. And then fibrin will stain usually red red on trichrome. So I find trichrome sometimes helpful in that differential, but usually I go to thioflavin T or Congo red, although like I said, that's a finicky stain if, unless your lab gets it really optimized.